everybody, this is PJ Riley from Competition Archery Media here with the ASA Shot of the Week. We're out here at the Matthews Pro-Am in London, Kentucky. This is the men's pro range. They just finished shooting. We're on target 12. Uh, now one of the staples of the London, Kentucky ASA is the targets are dark. We're shooting in some dark tunnels. So we talked to a lot of the archers and that was giving them some problems with judging. It was giving them some problems in aiming. So we figured we'd come out and find the darkest target that we could find. And what we're looking at down here, there's a javelina down there. It's looking like it's max distance. This is an unknown range, so I'm gonna have to judge it and shoot it. And I have to tell you at first, look, I'm not exactly sure how far that thing is, uh, but I'm gonna do my best, gonna judge it and see how I do. All right, that's a long shot. I think I actually had the yardage pretty good, but left or right, I can't tell where I went. Uh, one of the interesting things about this target is through my binoculars, I could see there's a series of white dots we'll check out when we go down there. And they like perfectly let me know where the, the bonus rings are, where the center 10 is, where the 12s are. I could see it through my binoculars. Looking through my scope though, I got a five power lens in there. I just couldn't find that spot. It's so dark down there. Everything just looked black. I couldn't really make out. I could make out a white blur. That's about it. But hey, let's go see where I hit. All right. So we got a left eight here. Um, it, I judged this for max distance, 50 yards, and it looks like my yardage was spot on. I mean, I am right on the line that runs through the middle of the vitals, so my yardage was good. This is the series of white dots that I was talking about. As you can see, I mean, they are right around the center 10, lower 12, upper 12. So I needed to be right on the edge of these dots. I knew that, but from 50 yards back in this canopy, it's a black target. Everything behind it is dark. It's just a dark target. And as I said, I could barely make out a little bit of a white blur. Um, so I didn't get the pin where I needed to. But so something that I've learned here doing these shots of the week is uh, when I'm unsure of myself where my aiming point was going to be, I pull left. This is like the third shot that we've done that I have pulled to the left. So. I mean, that's good for me to know. It gives me something to work on. Uh, and I know just to try and maintain my form through the shot and hopefully this won't happen. So, so I took an eight. That's the best I can do and uh, better luck next time.